Welcome to Clevers, Ibrar here. Today I am going to cover Stream of Nginx Proxy Manager. This is the part 5 of Nginx Proxy Manager 0 to Hero series. Stream of Nginx Proxy Manager is used to forward TCP UDP connection to the backend service, which allow you to securely route traffic based on those protocols similar to HTTP or HTTPS traffic. I am making complete production grade video of it if you not watched previous part watch that one first deployment guide is available in the part one videos description just copy paste it and enjoy steam is used for forwarding tcp udp packets through the given proxied host the proxy then respond back to the requesting host on behalf of proxied host no dns required but each port must be unique i use this for many purpose like ssh database and custom services deployed on my server and access to proxied container let's jump to the lab without any delay to get demo of it here you can see a common use case of a proc uh, stream so basically i'm using uh, many of uh, many of servers or uh, services through the proxy host you can see here common use case forward SSH or FTP traffic from the public IP to private server uh, running an SSH or FTP services database proxying route database connections such as MySQL or Postgres through a secure reverse proxy game server proxy if you can uh, if you run game servers like uh, Minecraft or rest you can proxy game server traffic using TCP. VoIP proxying proxy VoIP protocol like SIP or RTP to ensure secure and reliable communication. So I am using the first and second one, not the third, fourth, but yes, I can explain how you can use it. Here you can see this is my previous if you see my previous uh, part one part two part three and part four then you can realize how my architecture is going on mm -hmm. so this is basically my uh, local lab and uh, i customized it based on my local lab as well as uh, aws cloud so let's say if you are using your pc which is with you and uh, you want to connect aws server where nginx proxy manager deployed in your um, public subnet you can see here and uh, some other services which is deployed on the private subnet like api server or uh, jenkins server or you can say database server so you want to connect but unfortunately that is in, in the private subnet you cannot connect through the uh, your local pc in that case either you need to uh, jump host you can connect jump host directly and from jump host you can connect again your private subnet server or services okay so <coughs> to avoid that kind of situation you can use uh, nginx proxy manager directly instead of using jump host so what happening behind the stream you can connect from your pc to your um, nginx proxy manager and nginx proxy manager directly forward your stream to the configured server or services so let's start the demo here under the host stream and uh, i want as i showed you here i have two server one is the 104 one is the 1.13 so i want to uh, connect my R&D server through the Nginx proxy manager for that you need to first connect your Nginx proxy manager and uh, you need to first expose your port so you can see here I already added uh, stream port here so basically stream port is listening or your Nginx proxy manager so this is the host port 2021 and it redirect to the uh, Nginx proxy manager 21 port and again stream work on the top of this listener so when you connect 3306 or 8080 from your uh, PC 
in that case this traffic will first transfer to the nginx proxy manager docker container and after that stream pick up from here and forward to the relevant services which you configured in the stream so you can see here i configured uh, 8080543233062022 so let's see what happened in that case okay i'm going to add in a stream and uh, let's say 8080 and i want to forward port basically my nx proxy manager is running on 102 you can see here but i want to connect 104 so in the stream just point out this is the incoming port incoming port is it means you are listening on the 8080 incoming port here 8080 and i want to forward or stream this port to the another ip so 192.168.1. Dot .1 what was the ip 104 yeah so 104 and want to connect 22 port ssh so save it it's done and now open cmd okay so i want to connect this one through the here you can see here my nginx proxy manager ip address is 1.102 so i am going to connect directly 1.102 which is basically connect to the 102 and port number 8080 so 8080 here listening and this is the this is the uh, 102 so let's see what happened it's asking for password you can see here i connected rnd server you can see here this is the rnd server i can show you as well here you can see here console You can see here the IP address of RND server 104. So I connected RND server from here. Okay, now I want to connect another port. Okay, so second one port is let's say i can either use 3306 or 5432 so i'm going to use 3306 to connect my another server which is again jenkins server jenkins server running on 1.13 so let's add that one stream 3306 and uh, 192.168.1.13 and want to connect 22 port you can either connect any port like you uh, your listener must be running here with the any port and you can connect here to the any port let's say i am connecting to 22 port ssh you can connect rdp uh, rdp mysql ms sql and uh, postgres ftp any services basically it support any services this is a stream so no worry about that it will work any tcp and udp it's also support udp forwarding if you want to use it okay so i'm adding here 3306 and it's redirecting to jenkins server so let's connect and see what happened so i'm disconnecting this one and uh, you can see here I am connecting to 102 again 3306 port so let's see it's asking for password I am providing password you can see here Jenkins server connected successfully so let me show you my Jenkins server as well yeah here I have config 
you can see here IP address of the Jenkins server 1.113 and host name is root at Jenkins you can see here the user is root and host name is Jenkins so we have done configuration like this we connected and uh, simply you can connect any port from uh, from the server to any um, destination so let's see I want to connect again I want to add one stream again um, okay let's say I want to add one stream again 5432 basically is uh, this is the port of postgres database but, but i want to connect the sss server again i want to connect the let's say jenkins server and want to port forward on the 22 port just simply disconnect it and again th instead of 3306 use the 5432 again it will connect to the Jenkins server okay so this is the stream and you can use it for a, a to access any any private services in your private subnet through the nginx proxy manager without any jump host or if you have let's say if you have any client and uh, where your Nginx proxy manager is running and you want to access their another services without opening port so basically on the you uh, you know due to security reason only the 80 and port 443 is open on the public subnet on the web servers so what happened you cannot connect you cannot connect this private subnets or private services from the outside for that you can use it it is very useful tool okay i think uh, that is enough for this part let me know what you guys think if you have any question leave a comment thank you very much have a nice day ahead see you in the next video